I think that if a fraction of the assistance is channeled to peace building efforts, I think we would save a whole generation. Fatima Akilu is a Nigerian expert in countering violent extremism. She came to Washington, D.C. to talk with Senator Christopher Murphy, who serves on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. We spoke a little bit about what was going on in Nigeria in terms of the Boko Haram insurgency, the uh, proliferation of light arms, uh, light weapons in the hands of terrorists, and what has that, how that has caused some major humanitarian crisis, and also the nature of U.S. assistance to Nigeria. There's still an overemphasis on a military approach to solutions, so we felt that aid should also be targeted at peace-building efforts. Fatima explained to the senator how she's helping young people stay out of terrorist organizations. First is the ideological disengagement, where we try to teach them that the ideology that is espoused by Boko Haram is really anti-Islam. We also try to offer them uh, an opportunity for an education. A lot of them haven't had an education, an opportunity for livelihoods and also psychosocial support, in particular counseling and trauma, uh, trauma work. She also spoke of just how many people her group has worked with. Over the past three years, it's been hundreds and hundreds uh, across uh, from de-radicalization in prisons to counter-radicalization where we work in communities with schools to prevent people joining terrorist groups and now with uh, young women and girls who have been uh, subjected to gender-based violence. Fatima revealed the magnitude of the problem and just how many women and girls in Nigeria were vulnerable to gender-based violence and how many could be reached by organizations like hers if they had the resources. I think collectively, uh, all the people working in this area could probably help about 80% of uh, young people who uh, are living in uh, societies where we're bombarded by uh, issues to do with lack of inclusion, marginalization. These are some of the push factors that have led people into terrorism.